Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. My name's Jason and I'm down here at Cobbs Quay on the south coast of England and I'm going to bring you a walkthrough on a boat that I think is the definition of a home from home. And here she is. This is a Broom 415 OS. The OS stands for Offshore. And this one is on the hard. So I'm going to take you aboard in a minute, but I just thought it was a good opportunity to have a little look at the hull while, uh, while we can. Um, this boat is actually a 2000. It's uh, just under 42 feet long. It's got a 14 foot beam. And this boat is all about accommodation. But it is also a boat that can cover some mileage because it's got a planing hull. It's got twin cat 420 horsepower. So this boat will cruise at about 20 knots and go up to about 28 knots flat out. And just to give you kind of a hint about how well equipped this boat is, you can see that the front here we've got a bow thruster. We've also got a stern thruster. And in fact, it's out at the moment being polished. You can see they've been buzzing up the props this morning, which are looking absolutely fabulous. There we go. And I think you're gonna be impressed with the accommodation. So let's delay it no more. And through the magic of television, let's hop aboard. So here we are aboard and we're stood here at the uh, rear bathing platform. I just wanted to show you this because this design for some people might be a little bit unfamiliar. It's kind of got a raised cockpit at the back and that's because when we go down below, we'll be able to see the uh, master stateroom, which is at the back, the aft of the boat. That's the uh, escape hatch there or the window, doubling up as both. So when you step aboard, you've got these nice wide, safe steps up into the cockpit area. See there's a couple of fenders either side. Up through this quite chunky gate and into the seating area. Now, what I think is nice about this is it's kind of some way between a sport cruiser and a flybridge. What do I mean? Well, sport cruisers have lots and lots of cockpit space. Fly bridges, certainly on 40 foot boats, tend to have a little bit restricted space at the back. So you've got to go up onto the fly bridge if you're entertaining. What we've got here, it's kind of like a half raised fly bridge. So the seats here, I would say, would comfortably accommodate six people. And then you've still got the helm seats at the front here, which we'll look at in a bit more detail there, that would take another three swing around here and they're seating for another couple of people so this has got a lot of social space here nice table folds up to give a bit better access round access to the bow both sides so nice wide walkways and you can see there is where you can also access the side of the boat there's a, a gate or a chain that comes up out the way but a very very safe boat to move around and then up here at the helm we've got three helms what's quite nice is that the uh, the main helm is in the middle there so if you've got someone that wants to have a little go at helming but they're not hugely experienced if you're sat to their right you can have some control over the uh, throttle controls and then of course helm seat here very easy to jump down below and get the snacks that are prerequisites. So I say this boat's really, really well equipped and you'll start to see that as we go below particularly. But um, it's been a very, very loved boat, I would say. Probably an option to upgrade the navigation. We haven't got big screens like you'd expect in a more modern boat, but you can see there's a huge amount of space here to mount them. Really no problem at all. There's our controls for our bow and stern thruster there, got our VHF, got our trim tabs, got our wipers and you can see as well all the stainless steel around here. Remember this boat is 20, 23 years old and yet the condition is absolutely fabulous. Well you can also see here, so these camper covers, Perspex of which is very very clean, you can actually lift here and you can retract that and make this into a an open area and same with the camper covers as you move around the cockpit all of these can be removed but it is the kind of boat that these covers will probably stay on a fair bit certainly in in winter time or in colder climes 
and Broom, the makers, have even put in some warm air vents. So there's three, there's one down there, there's one over by the transom gate, there's one around on the, uh, the starboard side as well. So with these camper covers in place, this is a very, very sociable, very warm, snuggly place to sit and great visibility as well. You are a little bit high, you're not as high as a flybridge. And that's another point actually, you haven't got quite as much windage on this boat. So they tend not to rock and roll quite as much, which is, which is good, which is nice. So this is a really, as I say, really impressive area. Very, very nice. But let's move down below. So this hatch here is a two part hatch. And then open up this one, a little catch for that to stay on. And then down this lovely wide set of steps into the main lounge area. And it does really feel like a home from home. This is a very comfortable looking sofa. And again, to give you a sense of scale, probably sit six people there comfortably. Quite like the fact that the, uh, the coffee table, which was the original equipment, actually has a chess or a darts board, checkers board, if you're in North America. And again, we see this lovely stainless steel on these uh, side windows, these frames here. Still looking absolutely lovely. Lots and lots of light here. Panning around. You've got this sort of atrium design almost. Because there's no helm down here, your helm from upstairs, it does liberate a lot of space. So you've got a couple of steps down here, again, nice and wide. And you've got a Ford dinette. But it's not just a dinette because you can also infill and you can convert that into another double. So a nice lounging area, big TV up there on the wall. I guess you could put a TV up there in the main saloon. There's, there's some space there on the cabinetry along the side. But it works really well down here. And then if we pan round, you can see the galley. And the galley really is kind of domestic quality again. So we've got a really big fridge down here. Got a built-in microwave. Twin sinks, this one's got its cover on, but just remove that one. Again, they're really good size. Now this, uh, this boat's actually for sale, so it's just been listed. And you can see the, uh, the current owner has had heated tubes on it. The boat does smell and feel really lovely and dry. And then oodles and oodles of storage. Everywhere you look, there is storage. So if you're going to spend extended time on board, this is a really impressive setup. Those cupboards are really deep as well. Now a little bit about Broom. Broom the company is uh, well, it's based in Norfolk on the east side of England and they've been making boats for nearly 120 years. In 2018 they actually stopped making boats. Uh, the economics just didn't kind of stack up. They still maintain service, they've still got a marina and all that kind of good stuff so there's no issue with aftercare. But all that experience of you know 100 plus years of building boats it really shows in the way that this boat is thought out. Little detail down here for example under this seat pull that out and you've got again some additional chiller space really impressive now I'll show you the four cabin in a minute but I'll just show you the, the day heads so this day head sort of doubles up for the Ford cabin but also access from the lounge for during the day it's a really good size they haven't tried to squeeze if you like too much in at the cost of making things feel cramped. So it's a really good space. Uh, shower here, curtain that goes round. Again, if you're spending extended time on board, you might use that, but often marinas have got uh, washroom facilities. I've got to say that the woodwork on this boat is absolutely excellent. And then forward into the twin cabin here. Now, what really struck me when I looked at this was the, the quality of these mattresses. You know, so often, you, you, you see the mattress and it's basically a little more than foam. These are proper sprung mattresses, I can imagine. A very good night's sleep on those. Pan around here and got a mirror. 
with a nice big hanging locker. Really deep, really deep as well. And then down here, you've got a little bit of surface there for knickknacks, odds and ends, drawers everywhere. And also underneath the bed, you've got storage as well. And that can be accessed from the top. So there are also lids, if you like, that you can be removed. So if you're, if you're trying to squeeze things like duvets and pillows and bulky things in there, you haven't got to go just through that door at the bottom. And that's all the way around here. And as I said, day heads then also acts as an ensuite at night. So all good, all good. And this little kind of lobby area when I stood, really good headroom as well. So here we are, back out into the Danette, up past our kitchen, a couple of steps up and back into the main saloon. And just over here on the right hand side, you can see all this nice cabinetry lots of storage space and you can see there a big additional fridge with a little freezer compartment as well which is really useful for drinks and stuff during the day give you a sense of space i'll sit down here oh yes they are as comfortable as they look we've got a little tub chair over there so comfortably seat so say half a dozen people here four down in the dinette gosh <laughs> it's huge okay and then so let's take a look at the star of the show, which is the aft cabin. And this is what Broom are kind of best known for, really, is this wonderful master cabin at the back with the island bed there. And you can see the, well, nearly 14 foot of beam in this boat. Really does give it a lot of space. You can see along here, starboard side, lots of cabinetry, cabinetry, can't say the word. Huge amounts of storage, more than you'd have probably in a bedroom at home. And then you can see that hatch, that window there. So an escape hatch and also natural daylight. And again, this, this uh, bed has got those lovely, gorgeous, proper kind of sprung mattresses that we saw in the V Ford. And then we've got a separate shower room and toilet. So here's your shower room. Great big space in there. Shell head over here, there's a curtain to just pull around to protect the back of this door, but effectively the rest of it is like a wet room. And uh, really generous, really good size there. And then back along here, more storage. More storage, more storage, more storage, more storage. <laughs> Everywhere you look. But here's something I've never seen before on a boat. Up here, I don't know what's in here. Is it sort of an access panel? No. It is a laundry basket. So you put all your dirty linen in here when you're away. And then when you get to your washing machine, you lift that up, take that out, get it all cleaned and put back in your dressers. How clever is that? And that to me is all the proof you need that the guys and girls that made this boat know a thing or two about spending a long time aboard. I think that is so cool. I also found this behind the door which I think is, um, well, it's a printer, fax printer, which I think is all to do with the nav system. I don't know if it still works. It's cool though, isn't it? <laughs> really cool. And then the panel over here, which is all your uh, fuse board and so forth. So very nice and easy to access. This boat's got a generator on it. It's got heating on it. It's got all the stuff you need when you're away for a long time. More storage. This is a nice little detail as well. So there's a tabletop stored in here. Lift that one down. And that's obviously, I would think an infill for one of the seating areas. Drop some cushions on top. But what's nice is it's not kind of cluttering up the boat when it's not in use. And then over here to our right, this is our ensuite sink and toilet. So it's, it's just, I mean, talk about a luxury. On a 40 foot boat to have two heads, to have a separate shower and uh, toilet and sink in the master cabin. That's going some. That is very, very impressive. <laughs> and that's why these boats have proven so popular with owners because 
you know, when you look at other stuff at this kind of length, okay, it, they might be a little bit more contemporary, they might be a little bit more funky, um, but I think you'd really struggle to find anything that feels more homely. Uh, engine access is just down here underneath this rug. There's two catches, so simply move the uh, coffee table there, lift that hatch up, and then you've got access to those 420 horsepower Caterpillar engines for all your essential daily checks and more extensive maintenance. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm really impressed with this 415. I've often admired brooms from afar, and the owners of brooms seem very contented and happy people, and I can now understand completely why. Because it does feel very much like a home from home. Very secure, very well built, very well appointed, and just a lovely, lovely boat. So there you go. Thank you very much indeed to the team at Clipper Marine for giving us access to this boat. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let us know, like, comment, share, tell your friends, and maybe a Broom 415 could appear on your wish list of future boats. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.